Asian HQ and the other big news from GitHub Universe, the Octoverse Report is out, it's game off time, and a pick of the week that one astronomer calls the best thing to happen to Python in a decade. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub. And this is the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe to us on YouTube. And first things first, guess who's back? Back again. Film girl's back. Tell a friend. That's right, I'm back. By way of introduction or reintroduction, I'm Christina, AKA Film Girl, and I used to work at GitHub, and I was the original host of this show. Then I left, but now I'm back, and I'm super excited to bring you all the latest news of the week alongside my colleagues, Andrea, Kadesha, and Cassidy. Now we've got a lot of news this week, so let's get into it. GitHub Universe was last week, and it was a fantastic time. There were Furbies, hackable badges, thousands of developers celebrating the art of building software, and did I mention Furbies? If you joined us in person or online, thank you for being with us, and we can't wait to see you next year. There were some big announcements too. So the big news at Universe was the introduction of Asian HQ, which is a single unified workflow for developers to be able to orchestrate any agent, anytime, anywhere. And over the coming months, coding agents from Anthropic, OpenAI, Google, Cognition, XAI, and more will all become available directly within GitHub as part of your paid GitHub Copilot subscription. And so that means that you can use Claude Code, Jules, Codex, and other agents directly in your GitHub workflow. And this all starts with what we are calling Mission Control, which is a unified command center that follows you wherever you work and is not a single destination. It's a consistent interface across GitHub, VS Code, mobile, and the CLI that lets you direct, monitor, and manage every AI-driven task. It's a great way for you to basically monitor your agents and assign them and track their progress. We built Agent HQ because we're developers too, and we know what it's like when it feels like your tools are fighting you instead of helping you, and, and that's what we want to solve. So you can check out the show notes and the description uh, for a link to learn more. Also at GitHub Universe, we released our annual Octopus report on the state of GitHub in 2025. Now, I encourage you to read the whole report, but here are a couple of highlights. So first, it was a really, really big year of record growth, with one developer a second joining GitHub. Wow. Beyond that, there was an average of 230 new repositories released every minute, and 395 million public and open source repositories were created. Developers from all over the world are on GitHub, but India represented 14% of all new developers joining GitHub in 2025, making it the second largest region across the globe. So thank you, India, and keep building. Now, as for language trends, there was a big upset as TypeScript became the most used language on GitHub based on contributor accounts, surpassing Python and JavaScript this typed language thing might, uh, might take off. There were some other great stats in the Octopus 2, including a look at some great OSS projects gaining traction. So be sure to check out the whole thing in the show notes and the description. One final note about Universe. It was really, really great to see so many open source projects in our open source zone and see so many attendees visiting the booths to learn more about those projects. And those projects include AppWrite, GoReleaser, Homebrew, Ladybird, Moondream, Oh My Zosh, Open Source Project Security Baseline, OpenCV, Processing Foundation, Pixie.js, Zulip, and Spark.js. I want to thank all those projects for being a part of GitHub Universe, and I'll have a link to um, all of them in the show notes down below. It's November, and that means that it is time for Game Off, which is our month-long game jam that has inspired thousands of developers to make and share and play games since 2012. The theme for the year? Waves. Now, you have until December 1st, 2025 at 1337 PST to build a game loosely based on the theme. How do you interpret it is, is completely up to you. Don't overthink it. Just ride the creative wave and see where it takes you. You can work alone or on a team. You can use whatever programming language or game engine or libraries you like. We will have a link to the signup page on itch.io down below. And just a quick note, AI assistance is allowed. So, you know, vibe code something wavy. And now it's time for my GitHub Project Spotlight. Now, this is a fun one because not only is it a great project, it was actually called out in the Octoverse report as one of the fastest growing open source projects by contributors. Now it's called UV, and if you use Python, you need to give it a shot. UV builds itself as an extremely fast Python package and project manager written in Rust. It's a single tool that can replace pip, pip tools, pipx, poetry, pyenv, twine, virtual env, and more. I've actually been using it uh, over the last year and it's really, really good. But you don't have to take my word for it. Astronomer Dr. Emily L. Hunt published a blog post titled, 
UV is the best thing to happen to the Python ecosystem in a decade. And you know what? She's absolutely right. Honestly, like I used to dread having to manage Python versions in virtual environments, but UV is dead simple, it's extremely fast. And I've got a link down below to the project, the GitHub page, and Dr. Hunt's blog that also offers an overview of how to get started. I could actually go on a whole monologue about my preferred tools for version control and package management across ecosystems. So if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know. But seriously, if you use Python, or if you're just starting to use Python, which many uh, of you are, as we saw from the Octoverse, give UV a shot, it rules. All right, that's gonna do it for me. Let me know your favorite Python tool or comment on any of the other stories that we covered in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the GitHub YouTube channel for all your nerd needs. See you next time.